Hello, I have a collective message here for you today. Keep in mind, it may not always resonate, but this is a message for somebody. Feel free to check previous and future reads for more or different information. I'm picking up today someone who's been in separation with another person. Okay. You yourself may have been dealing with this person in the past in which your situation became strained because of the other person's decisions, choices, and actions. This situation could have been a relationship or it was trying to form as a very strong relationship. I feel here we have someone this is you. You have been through quite a bit with this person. And it may have served to push you further into your spiritual journey in dealing with this relationship. Okay. So I feel like you've been in a space where your intuition has been heightened. And this could have been a process over months or years, okay? This feels as though you are very well informed with this person and their behaviors, their choices, their decisions. Whoever this reading is for today is someone who is very spiritually awakened, aware, is moving through those energies with grace. You may be psychic, you have some gifts. I feel like these gifts just further enhance over the years and this may have been some sort of catalyst to further your awakening process here okay you are a high priestess you are possibly someone who sees through visions through dreams this is a lot of dream space energy i'm getting clairvoyance here I feel like you also may read tarot. You could be a reader, okay? But you do dwell in the spiritual realm for the most part. You may have a prominent water placement, or this person does. Could be dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio here. But when you dealt with this situation, I feel this was like a whirlwind romance or a whirlwind situation. Currently, you're in a space of being more passive and maybe mostly hands-off here, just more patient and just sitting in a space of awareness because you've been through a hectic situation with this person. We pulled teardrops, says great personal sorrow, funnel, period of frustration and lessons to be learned. I feel you've learned quite a bit of lessons here and they are not easy ones in dealing with this person. This, by the way, this is someone who is a very masculine energy, whether it's male or female, we're going to get to that. But this person in your life brought up a lot of wounds in you or even caused some sort of wounds with you, you dealing with this situation and you had to learn how to heal this, okay? So we also have heartache over what you no longer have. I feel like this may have been a situation where you experienced so much pain, maybe some space of deprivation, okay? Your desire was very strong at one point, and now you're just more cautious here because your happiness is on the line. With this relationship, dealing with this person brought you lots of fulfillment, lots of happiness, but also the same amount or the same capacity of pain. So it's like a double-edged kind of situation here. Okay, so currently we are looking at, we have imprisonment and we have this snake card, number seven, maybe a message for you. Also number 11, 29 is here twice, okay? We also have death card energy. This person is starting to miss you. We have shallow grave. You miss someone. Your situation has been done. It's been over with. But this person's been thinking about things and thinking about them quite a bit. 
thinking about how things transpired and how they could have been different, how they could have changed. I do feel this is someone who's starting to carry a burden related to this because you're dealing with someone right now who is very free. They have a lot of spare time. So all they're doing is having to sit with their thoughts and you're coming up quite a bit for them because they're so, they're spending a lot of time on their own and their life is pretty uneventful right now. It's almost like the same routine day in, day out. And this is someone who, again, just has a lot of time to sit with their thoughts and they find their thoughts traveling toward you, which in turn is making their desire stronger. So let's talk about this person, okay? Pulled multiple energies here, different decks. We do have someone with this Ace of Pentacles, Emperor, and the Nine of Pentacles energy. Also wealthy man. This is someone that you're dealing with or were dealing with who's trying to make another appearance, especially energetically and in their mind. This is someone who's thinking about things, but they could be an entrepreneur. They could work for themselves. Maybe they're just very financially well off. This is an independent person. This is someone who takes lead, takes charge, who gets things done or has gotten things done. And they're in a space of like leisure right now. Okay, so maybe they've taken some time off or maybe this is somebody who's retired or this is somebody who just has a lot of spare time because they don't have to really stress or work for much, okay? This is causing them their, their loneliness, okay? Their isolation is causing them to feel quite sad. We have someone in solitude here and they're feeling the weight of that, of being alone, of feeling alone, of not having someone. I feel like they liked that for, for some time here, but they come to find that actually they're feeling more lonely and isolated than they thought they could or that they were aware of. It's like this person has a very active mind and they can't, sit still for too long otherwise they start overthinking things or worrying about things this is someone who may have been trying to keep feeling secret between you and them this is someone who may have been trying to keep your relations private for some reason okay this could be someone who likes to be free okay and they may have even been dealing with someone but they're in separation from this person. For some of you, this is someone who was dealing with someone and they're currently in separation, which is why they're coming back your way. So this is someone that you may have, I'm hearing deleted, okay? Maybe you deleted them out, out of your phone or somehow out of your mind in some way tried to. They're going to want to come back in after you and this person split up, broke up, or this person just, and you just went your separate ways. I do feel there is some extra person involved or there were extra people involved here, which kind of caused some type of demise of the situation. Okay, so we do have what they're thinking about here, which is sunrise. Okay, the sun is coming up again. This is new creative ideas, new ventures, and a fresh start and torch, spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. This is somebody who is starting to think of a new beginning. They are now in a space that their spiritual awakening has started, but it's very slow moving. This is someone who's very much involved in the physical realm. So they may have... Um, a lot of, I don't know, someone who likes food, someone who likes drink, someone likes who likes um, relationships or people. Maybe they indulge a little bit here and there. This is someone who has not really went too deep into spirituality, but they've been slowly, I'm hearing two years quite a bit in this reading. So maybe that's... Um, Maybe that's pertaining to you, okay? This is someone who's starting to become more aware spiritually. This is someone who's looking into 
different kinds of spiritual beliefs or modalities. Maybe this is someone who's starting to get into... This is telling me secret knowledge. So something occult is going on here. This could be something about they're getting into getting in touch with their spiritual beliefs into spirituality, whether this is like a religion or actually just kind of generally spiritually speaking. I'm seeing a lot of like prayer, meditation, things like this that's coming to mind with this individual. But this is leading them back to you. I feel you have had a spiritual relationship with this person. And this is why there's some type of tie or connection, okay? So this is someone who is thinking about coming back in, communicating with you. There, I'm hearing all roads lead to Rome. There's something about their process that's bringing you back up for them. So whatever they're going through right now is bringing them back towards you. I just wanna give you a word of caution this may also be someone who kind of keeps things casual here, even though they miss you. There's a lot of casual energy during this time, and it may be someone who's not really sure or doesn't really have an end game or a goal in mind besides some physical desires and a spiritual desire as well. So I don't see this person thinking very long term right now. So I just wanted to tell you, okay, it's almost as though they just feel some sort of pull to come toward you and you're in a space of awareness with this person to begin with. So you already know this from what I'm seeing. Okay, so I was asking for advice here. Pulled a couple cards. On the bottom, we do have the past. This is a past situation. This is someone of your past, a very similar situation that you're finding yourself in. Something is repeating for you with this individual. Um, it's almost like being able to close up some sort of cycle with this person or something is coming back in because this is someone who's seeking you out, okay? So there's like a repetitious energy but it's because this person has a newfound awareness. So your advice here is communication and generosity. There's a need for you to be in a space of truth. I feel you're aware of that. So it's important to see things for what they are and to speak on what it is that you know and not really hold back on communicating clearly with this person. That is very important here. Now, I, f I thought this was the most interesting card for you. We have Dakini, and it says, the enlightened feminine. My gut instinct is wise beyond reason. I trust my intuition to guide me. You are in a space of very strong intuitive energy to begin with, but I feel like it's important to remain in touch with that while dealing with this individual who will be coming your way here in the coming weeks, okay? This is someone who may be coming forward because their their life is kind of dull and there may still be other things going on with them that's not really prime and pristine for your situation. However, this may be somebody trying to wine and dine you or give you a gift here and there, or th that's what they have done in the past, okay? Um, for the most part, this is someone who values their independence at this point, so just keep that in mind, okay? I love you so very much. This is what I got for you today. Have a wonderful, blessed day, and check previous future reads for more different information, of course. Kisses. Bye.